Hi, my name is Zach Brown. I work for Naples Construction, and I'm the superintendent for us. We do mostly K-12 school work. We are here today at Horizons High School in the Shawnee Mission School District. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about what we do uh, in the carpentry world. So today we're going to talk about what we're doing here at Horizons. Right here, um, we are reframing the wall out. One, we're going to put new finishes on this wall. And the process of doing that is we are using these 8-inch um, structural studs that go full height up here and all the way across this wall. The other thing we're doing um, is we're going to build a soffit. So it's going to come off this wall, um, it's going to come out two feet, and it's going to run the whole length of this wall. And the reason we're doing that is because of the HVAC, the mechanical, the plumbing, and the electrical that was all exposed. We're trying to hide those. <clears throat> so in this shot, as we were talking about carpentry work, we talked about metal studs. Um, the other thing we were talking about is headers. And so a header is a structure that's built out of metal studs to go over an opening to support a new wall, which is this piece of metal right here. So here we're seeing a freestanding wall application. And so in carpentry, you build these all the time. Commercial construction, what you see down here, which is what we call a bottom track. And so we shoot that down, we got our studs that are right here, and then we put the top track off. So in here, you will see that there is added support in here so that the structural strength of this back and forth stays in one place. The other portion that we're seeing here um, in the ground is the electrical conduit that's come up. So that, that's where the leaves are coming up through the floor. And this is how we get electrical when you have a freestanding wall with no ability to come from the top. Of the so as I showed you the freestanding wall just a minute ago, now we're going to see a wall that's in place. And this space will create a creative learning collaborative space. And so once again, we have our bottom track, we have our top track, and then we have the studs that make up the wall. After we get this wall roughed in, so that means putting the electrical in and putting any other type of infrastructure components within the wall, um, we were going to mount a TV in here. There will be furniture here, and it will be a nice space for students to be able to use technology in many different avenues. So, these type of projects happen all over the state, all over the country, every single day. Whether it be a new build, a remodel, um, the things we do in these schools and create new spaces for students all over the country is one of the most rewarding things I've done in my life. Getting to go back to schools as kids are using these spaces and getting to see the, the opportunities that we've created by building them for them is rewarding. Because I've kind of done the full spectrum in my career. I started using my hands as a laborer and as an electrician, and now I'm into the supervision portion of in the management side of construction. And so I've got to see it all. My kids uh, give me a hard time because anytime we go through town and I show them jobs that I've done every single time, it doesn't matter if it's one time or 150 times that I tell them, hey, Dad built that. Um, and so it's something that a lasting impact that what, even if your name's not on the building, even if you didn't sign the building, you know that you built that building and however long it's going to be there, you're the one that did that.